Over here. Okay. Um, the mining of lithium has a very, very bleak reputation with child labor and all kinds of social and environmental consequences. Um, what are the alternatives that are coming up? So, is that a question for me? Uh, if you want to I'm happy to take it. Um, so the question was about the mining of lithium for lithium batteries and the environmental and social impacts of that. Um, it is a good point to look at the technology in terms of other impacts other than just its cost. Uh, I remember when um, uh, nickel cadmium wet cells were first introduced about 20 years ago, uh, the question was asked by probably someone at the back of the room at one of those events, how do you recycle them? And the answer from industry was, we'll work it out. And they still haven't. Uh, so sometimes you come up with a technology that there is no end of life strategy other than pollution. Uh, also, the, 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 the mining of the raw materials can be a, a major impact. In the case of lithium, there's actually only about six mines in the world uh, that are in production. Uh, in Bolivia is the biggest uh, in terms of its resource, but underutilized in China and USA. But just this week, uh, it's been announced that some lithium mines in Australia uh, have been opened. So actually, Australia has large resources of lithium. Um, I'm surprised to find myself a mining enthusiast suddenly. Um, <laughs> lithium uh, phosphate mines uh, in, what do you know, the Pilbara, uh, uh, could produce something like a quarter of the world's supply. So there's well-established practices around those mines. It's not exactly in a, um, a community uh, where you're destroying its infrastructure um, with, with a, a mine site. So I don't fully know how to answer that.